Welcome back to PSC's Tech Byte. This week I want to talk with you about how you can access a file in SharePoint Online and how you can access metadata fields of that file using the Microsoft Graph. In fact, through the graph endpoint, you can easily access drive items using the drive APIs, as well as files in sites using the sites API. And you can start from the URL of a file to get access to the properties, to the metadata fields of a list item underlying a file that you have in SharePoint Online, in a library. So, like always, let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how you can do that in practice. So, let's start from a document library in SharePoint Online. Here I have a bunch of files that I just uploaded and I created a custom field called Approved On where I uh, provided some random values just for the sake of making an example. Now, let me move to the Graph Explorer because I want to show you how you can easily use the Microsoft Graph to access those files. So, first of all, in order to do that, you need to target the specific uh, site you want to consume. So, through the Sites API, you target the uh, name of the tenant followed by the relative URL of the site collection in order to get the information about the site. And from there, you can get the ID of the site so that you can query the site using the site API of Microsoft Graph. And that's what I'm going to do right now. Of course, in a site using the Drive API, you can get access to the Drive, which will be the shared document library of that specific set collection. And you can also access the root folder of the document library. In the root folder, you can also access the children items that you have in the uh, root folder of the library so that you can see, for example, that we have, uh, let's say, the sample uh, document 01.pdf file. And if you want, you can get the ID from a graph point of view of that file. And in the drive, you can access the collection of items followed by the ID of the file you want to target. And you will be able to get back uh, the full information from a Drive API point of view of the file that you are targeting. If you want to access the SharePoint Online list item underlying the file, you can simply follow the URL identifying the file with the slash list item endpoint. And you will get back the SharePoint Online list item information, including the created by, last modified by, and stuff like that, and including the custom fields. So, for example, here you can see the approved on custom field, as well as all of the out-of-the-box fields of the item. Now, let me say that this procedure is clear, straightforward, but a bit long, because you need to go through all of the objects in the chain, in the hierarchy of content. So, let's say that you want to access, to straight access the file. Well, actually, you can do something better than just uh, browsing all of the content. You can just provide a URL, which will be the uh, straight URL targeting the file you want to access based on the relative URL of that file. So basically, you access graphmicson.com, v1 site, you provide the ID of the site as like as before, and in the ID of the file in the uh, site, sorry, that you are targeting, you target the drive and the root folder of that drive, followed by the relative URL of the file that you want to read. So you do that and you get back still the same information as before, but with a shorter URL and, and especially with an easier uh, way to get the information about your file. Once you've done that, you can get the ID and unfortunately you cannot apply the list item uh, endpoint at the end of this specific URL, but using the uh, item ID that you can get from here, you can easily target the items collection and provide the item ID and eventually providing the request to get the list item underlying that specific item ID. So with less requests than before and based on the relative URL of the file, you can easily in a couple of steps get the item ID and the list item underlying the item that you have in SharePoint Online. Starting from there, you can also play with the whole set of functionalities that you have in the Drive APIs. So if you go to the API reference section right here and you go to Files, you can see that for Drive items, you can also play with actions like check-in, check-out, uh, 
uh, you can uh, eventually move, copy, download the file, and all the stuff that you need whenever you want to play with the file which is stored in SharePoint Online through the Microsoft Graph API. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.